I'm sorry, Ava is really killing it right now. She's about to give birth. She's taking business calls on a Saturday from Ted. <laughs> Tell you, I'm impressed. She was pretty rude during my story, and you didn't even say anything. Like what? Don't do your job? I don't get it. What do you, what do you want? No, but didn't you see how she just got up during my story, and she wasn't like, sorry, be back in five? Was that a story about the little person in Rite Aid? I'm sorry, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't track it. It was a great story. Hmm. Lance said I was a hoot. He was riveted. I'm going to bed. All we've had is divided beds during the whole pandemic. You want to know why Ava took that phone call? You want to know why you have zero subscribers to your podcast? Do you understand it takes a little bit to accrue subscribers? Like, you don't understand the podcasting business. Like, do you think Joe Rogan just exploded like Mount Vesuvius right out of the gate? Yes. Yes, I do. You are a horrible podcaster, honey. I'm sorry, but you're just not interesting enough. You're just full of non sequiturs and you ramble and ramble on and you're so desperate for approval, people can sense that. I hate your little teeth. I hate the way you hike. I hate the way you sleep. I hate your friends. I hate your family. I hate your gut. I hate Keep the going. way you answer the Good. phone. I hate the way you always say, at the end of the day. Bring it on. I hate the way you love Christmas. I hate the way you breathe. I hate the way you sip coffee. I hate your dead mother. I hate your fucking agent. And I can't believe you changed your Instagram handle to the real Larry. Who's the real Larry? He's a fucking loser. And friends of mine messaged me saying, why did he change his name to The Real Larry? He's not successful enough. I changed it to The Real Larry because someone stole my name. Yeah, they did, they cloned my account. So I went, oh, let me make it The Real Larry. Is that okay with no. your fucking friends? No, they've blocked you. I've blocked you. Good. I've unfollowed you 10 different times during this pandemic and I'm gonna leave it as an unfollow. I'm glad, I don't want you to follow my me. My friends are sickened. I don't care about your fucking friends. If I told you right now what I really felt about you, you would just crumble like a pile of dust. Oh, I invite you to. You are a lonely, middle-aged woman with no real friends. And your daddy never gave you that approval, did he? And we are all paying for it. Oh, there she goes. I told you. Okay, have fun fucking your little delivery boy. Have fun watching Killing Eve and jerking off to Jodie Comer. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. Maybe we would have sex more if you had more of that Jodie Comer energy and less man with a hat energy. Dad. Okay, what's so important? Larry and I are separating. Now? Where are you gonna go, you idiot? Look, do this after the surge. We're still in the purple zone, right? Just go back and apologize. No, 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 Dad, I'm telling you, I don't feel spiritually connected to him anymore, okay? Oh, stop with that horse shit. You know, Larry's a great guy, and he's a great actor. He was amazing in that, 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 that show where he decapitated all the prostitutes. It was so, so credible. Yeah, that was six and a half years ago. Well, it was on again last night. Listen, go inside, fix it. You think I stay with your mother because we love each other? No, it's a transactional arrangement. She's like my 24 seven concierge. You're probably just hungry, so go eat some wassa crackers. And you've got too much time on your hands, so get a fucking job or go volunteer at the UJA. That wasn't helpful. Now you got me up all night. Happy now? Thank you, thank you, good night, goodbye. Goodbye. Party? Yeah, I'm hosting the Netflix premiere of Ava DuVernay's new documentary tomorrow night. I just left Larry, okay? 
and I would love to go to your party. Well, no, I would love no, to come over right come. now Everybody if it's possible. Everybody who's coming had to quarantine for 14 days in order to attend. I just, I, know you did I, I'm, I left Larry. You cannot come here. Do you remember when I sat with you in a bathtub when you're having a panic attack because you farted when you got up to leave during that ABC family pitch meeting? Yeah, Phil, like, we love Larry and you can't come here. If it's possible if you could meet me on a stoop. I have to do my eyelashes tonight because my schedule is so fucked. It's fine, it's fine, bye. <sighs> You're gonna have to quarantine. 